Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chahakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect that sat here labeled in all truth and sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Amoran Ariya from the GM and Charlotte camp. Coming back with another Lord willing, edifying lesson to feed the elect of the nation of Israel. And pretty much in this lesson, I want to go into how Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh has provided us with a for sure foundation. And what I mean by that is that these scriptures all right, has provided us, you know, by means of the Holy Spirit, all right, a, a backing that we can run into when we feel our spirit being attacked, all right, when we see all hell breaking loose and we seeking comfort, okay, when we, when we need, you know, to speak with our power and we're, you know, uh, uh, looking for the right words to comfort you and these scriptures come to mind, okay? That's all through the Holy Spirit that's given to us from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Hakwadash. All right. And pretty much, you know, this is what we're gonna have to rely on the closer and closer we get to the day of the destruction, man. The day of the Lord's vengeance. Because while the rest of the world is using whatever they believe to be their uh their their foundation, their backing that's gonna keep them safe. You know, from the tribulation. All right. We have these scriptures and ultimately we have the faith in our power that he's going to you know, protect us in these uh, in these troubling times that we're entering into, man. OK, so I just want to grab a few scriptures just to speak on that. All right. So let's open up here in the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 10. It reads, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe, okay? And this off the bat gives us the edge over what the rest of the world has to work with because anytime, you know, trouble, you know, comes our way, we automatically have a shelter to run into to protect us from these different, you know, uh, uh, you know, demonic attacks, all right? When, when, you know, our spirit is low, all right? We have a comforter to uplift us. And ultimately, all right, when everything becomes uh, bleak out here, we still have, <clears throat> you know, through the Holy Spirit, a vision, all right, to look forward to, to, to keep our uh, our hope and our faith, you know, strong, all right, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, and his words, all right, because we understand that if we continue and the good, uh, it's like if we continue to stay in the good graces of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah and do what pleases him, okay, we we fully believe that he will protect us and keep us safe from all the hell that's about to break loose out here, man. Okay, this is Psalm 61 and 3. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy, okay, and you know, knowing that we have this shelter that we can run into for safety, okay? That gives us, you know, a, a confidence as well as, you know, strengthens our faith because everything that we have been working for, all right, as well as hoping for, we see the Lord, you know, beginning to do more and more, all right, which is uh, strengthening our faith that when all hell breaks loose, all right, we will be good, okay? Because all the all the bad that we speak about, the troubling times, because you know the scriptures, as it says in the book of, uh, 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 I want to say it's Ezekiel. Here, let me get that real quick. All right. We know this book is in all sunshines and rainbows, man. They, the, you know, the Bible speaks of, you know, uh, you know, prosperity, you know, and all the good things. But nobody in the world ever talks about, you know, uh the horrors that's going to, you know, uh, uh, come to the world, man, you know, but we through the scriptures understand that these things are going to come, but we have comfort in knowing, you know, that that's, uh, uh, only for the wicked. And if we do what pleases the Lord, then we won't find ourselves, 
on the other side of that judgment. All right. So this is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 10. Actually, I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, and he, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe, because we understand that before we can even you know, experience all the good things that the the uh, the promise, you know, and our inheritance that that lies ahead for us, man. We gotta go through the tribulation. We gotta go through the hell. All right, which is why you know, we we say that look, we have a for sure foundation to lean back on because when the rest of the world are gonna be looking for answers, all right, when they're gonna be questioning why these things are happening, all right, we know because the Holy Spirit has already given us insight. On everything that's coming to pass, all right. Thus, the Holy Spirit, all right, which is the spirit of Yahweh, Shah, according to Revelation nineteen and ten, which is the spirit of prophecy, all right. That's that's the strong tower that we that we uh that we run to, man. Yahweh Shai, man, all right, because we understand that Yahweh Shai is that is that uh that main pillar of hope that we have, all right, to you know keep a uh, keep us up, man, you know, and as we you know continue to think upon this uh, strong tower, all right, it is our job to fortify, all right, that tower, uh, that, that, that hedge for us, you know, to make sure that we, you know, are going to be, you know, a uh, uh, 100%, you know, locked into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, all right, so when we, you know, uh, when we, you know, feel that pressure coming on us, man, all right, we have that what the world calls a safe place to go into, man, you know, because like in the world, you know, they'll tell you when, when, you know, your mind gets heavy, all right, tell you to go to your safe place. Well, our safe place is in these scriptures, man. All right, thinking upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And so as we, you know, grow in this in this truth, man, and the Lord gives us more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, we are supposed to to help fortify this strong tower for each and every one of us, man. All right, because you know, the the Lord has opened the door for you to come in. Now it's up to you to strengthen them, uh, the the uh, the house, man. Ultimately, man, you gotta keep it tidy, all right, and keep it familiar. You gotta keep coming into it, all right, to where you, you know, as soon as things get rough, man, you you know where right where to run, uh, run to, man. All right. This is Proverbs chapter nine verse one. It says, "Wisdom have built her uh her house; she have hewn out her seven pillars." Right. And so, you know, uh, wisdom, okay, it says he has built her house because we are being taught on how to pretty much, you know, uh, enter into that strong tower, man. All right. We are, we are being taught how to, how to call upon the Lord, how to establish that relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And the seven pillars, you know, goes into pretty much, you know, the, the, how to establish that foundation, man. Okay. Because when you look up the definition of what a pillar is, we go to it real quick. Pull it up on the Adamano line. Alright, it says pillar. It says a column or column uh column columnar mass. It says narrow in proportion to height, either weight, bearing, or freestanding. It says a stone barrier. It says a prop or support of an institution or a community. All right, and that's exactly what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is to us, man. All right, he's a he's a support for us, man. All right, as it says, a stone barrier to keep us protected from the evils that's outside, man. All right, because as we know, all right, a, the, the troubles is is coming for us, man. All right, hence the name Jacob's trouble. But we know the pillar is a support system, man. All right, a pillar is what keeps a building strong, man. All right, right here we look up the debt. The you know this is from the New Oxford American Dictionary. It says pillar a tall vertical structure of stone, wood or metal, used as a support for a building, or as an ornament or monument. All right, so wisdom, all right, is our uh, you know, is our pillars. Okay, and we're supposed to continue to uh, to fortify that man. Okay. So. You know, going into some of that. All right, let's get this in Isaiah, chapter eleven, verse two. 
It says, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, and the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, because all right, in this strong towel, all right, we are getting, all right, this, uh, you know, uh, esoteric, you know, information or uh, wisdom, you know, that the rest of the world isn't getting. So while they're out here trying to fortify their uh, themselves through money, you know, whatever else that they're uh, they're clinging to, to think that's going to be able to sustain them, all right, in this house, man, we are we are getting all the goods that leads us to uh, to perfection, man. All right. So at the time that we have leading up into the evil day, man, we're supposed to be, you know, as it says in Matthew uh, chapter six, man, storing up those, um, you know, those spiritual treasures in heaven, man. All right. Where it says, moth and rough do of not corrupt, neither thieves nor robbers break in nor steal. All right. So we're supposed to be, you know, building up that wisdom, man. So when we, you know, uh, have to go into that strong house or that strong tower, all right, we're able to pull out, you know, all the things that we have stored up in there, man. Okay. That safe haven, man. Okay. But to the foolish out there, all right, those that have this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, but they're not they're not doing that. This is uh this is a warning for them. This is Proverbs fourteen and one. It says, Every wise woman build up her house, but the foolish pluck it pluck up it down with her hands, all right? And are we not liking unto the Lord's woman? Okay? Because when you look at a woman's uh her duty the, the word woman literally means servant. And so her job is to serve her husband. All right. So us being the Lord's woman. All right. We are to serve him. And as we are serving him. Okay. The Lord is, is bestowing us with, with blessings, you know, uh, to pretty much, you know, reward us for our good deeds, man. All right. And so as we're growing in this ministry and we're, we're doing the work. All right. The Lord is, is feeding us more wisdom, knowledge, understanding, teaching us or how to do this better, all right, how to, you know, how to make this look better on this, you know, whatever, whatever it is that, you know, the Lord can improve you in, that's what we're being, you know, uh, that's what we're being groomed to do, man, all right, but a foolish woman, all right, she plug up it down with her hands, man, she destroys her house, man, she destroys her protection, as you see these foolish women do out here, man, because if they really understood that the man was their protection, all right, the man is their Lord, all right, then, they wouldn't be destroying men like how you see they're doing, man. All right? You know, uh, destroying men's lives through child support and alimony. All right? Hey, they're, they're uh, you know, pretty much, you know, killing men. All right? Whether putting them in jail or well, literally setting them up and killing them, man. But she's destroying her house because when it's all said and done, she doesn't have a strong tower to run into, which is why you're going to see a lot of these women out here, you know, be without a covering and be put to death, man. All right? Proverbs 14 and 2. He that walketh in his uprightness fear of the Lord, but he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him. And how do you, you know, uh, walk in your, in your uprightness, man? All right, and you will be, you know, utilizing what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have given uh, unto us, man, which is this wisdom of understanding, which you can liken to uh, oil, man. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 21 and 20. It says there is a treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. And what is in this uh, in this safe haven that the Lord has allowed us access into, man? All this, you know, wisdom, knowledge, understanding can be likened to a treasure, all right? And oil, because the oil, all right, is, you know, what is used to light a lamp. And as we know, the scriptures say that this wisdom is a lamp unto our feet, all right? So we are literally being shown the light. All right, to lead us, you know, uh, in this dark world, man. Okay, it says, but a foolish man spends it up, and this is what you're seeing with these, uh, with these uh, two third jakes out here that know that that they're Israelites, that know the names of the Lord, but they're not utilizing this wisdom in a way that's going to benefit them in the long run, man. Okay, because here it is. All right, we are being taught the proper way how to build this house up, yet Jake refuses to take instruction, man. All right. The blueprint has been given to them, and yet they want to go and build things their own way, man. All right, but none of that is going to uh, prove, you know, any good to you because if you're not, you know, uh, using the Lord as your blueprint, all right, 
your your house is eventually going to fall, man. It's not going to withstand the test of time, man. All right. Get this real quick. So like, you yeah, how to go. Psalms 127 and 1. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain, right? So if Yahweh Bashim Yahushua isn't your blueprint of how you're building your house, man, that house is, is eventually, all right, going to be destroyed, man, all right? Because he wasn't behind it. He's not your foundation, which the Lord has given us a true foundation, all right, to rely on, man, okay? Because when all else fails, all right, we, we go back to that, that foundation, man, okay? Because this truth, all right, through these scriptures, you know, beginning with the milk, is what always, you know, keeps us in the way so that we know that we're not, you know, venturing off, man, into, you know, into the ways of destruction. All right? This is Isaiah 28 and 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Okay? And so Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is teaching us how to be patient. He's teaching us how to suffer. And amongst that suffering, all right, he's giving us the comfort, all right, to, to uh, you know, go through with this humiliation, man, to go through with this purging process, man, all right? We are given the comfort on how to deal with this, man, all right? But it all, you know, everything that we, that, that we uh, experience in this walk, all right, it's a testament to show how Yahweh Hashem Yahweh words are faithful and true. And like I said, and when you're when you're constantly relying on these scriptures, all right, it should fortify your faith even more because you understand that look, Yahweh Shem Yahushua is guiding us through all this, man. So every time that you feel things getting rough, man, and you run to that strong tower and you reset, man, all right, you get your spirit right, so that when you come back out into the world, all right, and you're you're pretty much you know, you know, uh, your equilibrium has been given back unto you, you know, you know your spiritual equilibrium, man. All right, you're able to, you know, reestablish your footing, man. Okay. This is first Peter chapter two, verse three. And this is why ultimately Yahweh Shem Shah set up all right the men, the teachers before us that, that gave us the correct way. All right, because those those men, all right, were the pillars that you know helped set the foundation for us, all right, to have this short foundation that we have now, man. Okay. All right, because the scriptures tell you we have entered into other men's labor because the Lord, all right, upon that, all right, has given you know uh, men to build this uh this this strong tower, man. All right, because the house has been worked on, all right, going all the way back to you know uh high priest Abba Bibbins, all right, and and from there it just continued to get built to where, hey, you see all these uh all these brothers and sisters waking up, hey, they they have access to that strong uh that strong tower, man. All right, and you see that they're being fortified through the Spirit, man. This is First Peter chapter two verse three. It says, "If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the Most High and precious, because as we know, man, a the world rejects Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so as he is that stone that was uh that was rejected, man. Okay, because to the to the elect." All right, he is a sure and precious cornerstone. He's been tried and found true. All right, but to the rest of the world, they rejected him because they don't, you know, they they weren't given the uh the spirit to see what he truly is, man. All right, but unto us, all right, that we have tasted this holy gift, man. All right, we appreciate it and, and we're clinging to it, man. Okay, Lord willing to the end. Verse five, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. And holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So, hey, the household of faith has been built, all right, which is, or it's like which is being built, which essentially is, you know, the third temple, which is a spiritual temple, all right. The Lord has set us all up as uh, as priests, okay, you know, through the order of, uh, of Melchizedek, because when Yahweh Shai came on the scene 
and sacrificed himself. He opened us up to all come into the lot of a priest, all right? The the lot that Levi held whenever, you know, uh, the Levites held whenever we, you know, were established as a nation, all right? So that we can all now offer up spiritual sacrifices to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah through Yahweh Shah's sacrifice, man. It says, wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. That's why everything, you know, that we're able to, you know, uh, uh, pretty much, you know, break down and throw down, all right, is all based upon the foundation that we have been given through Yahweh Shire. And if it does not align well, what these scriptures say, like it says in Isaiah 8 and 20, all right, to belong to the testimony of this speak not according to this word is because there is no light in them, all right? If it goes against what these scriptures say, all right, we are shown that it is not of a sure foundation, all right? It, it's faulty, man, okay? Because Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is not that back, and therefore that house was built in vain, man. It's going to fall, all right, when when the testing is uh, is brought upon it, man, all right? But unto those that believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, you shall not be confounded. Verse 7. Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious, but unto them which is which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallow, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient, well unto as they were appointed, right? So the two the two thirds that were rejected. They were rejected because they rejected Yahweh Shah, as it says in Hosea 4 and 6. Okay? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge so because they rejected the Lord. He rejected them. All right? Because these were the same people that, that when presented, all right, uh, by Pontius Pilate on what prison they wanted to release, all right, they chose a thief and a murderer over, over Yahweh Shah, and even went as far as saying, let his blood be upon us and our children. So they condemned themselves. Therefore, they rejected the... Uh, you know, the, the, the true, you know, savior. And because of that, they have been rejected in, you know, from this, uh, the strong tower, man. All right. They're going to be left on the outside end, just like the, uh, the wicked, you know, of the, well, I say, it's like the wicked, the, uh, yeah, the wicked people of our nation were rejected going all the way back to the flood, man. All right. The sons of God that all died. All right. Outside of Noah and his eight, uh, and the other eight people. All right. So it says verse nine, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Right. So a the elect is like a uh, is like a lighthouse. All right, the Lord has set up that's the, the lighthouse. Really, is like a strong tower that is being used to shine the light to lead the elect unto salvation. Man, all right. It says. Oh, yeah, yeah, what it says to, uh, I read it again, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. And that's what the Lord is doing now, man. You know, uh, in Isaiah 60, it tells you, Arise and shine, for the light of the Lord is shone upon thee. So the elect is, is, is being drawn into that lighthouse, all right? And, and we're, we're fortifying the lighthouse to make it shine brighter and brighter so that the elect. No matter how uh, you know how far they they've been in darkness, man, they're able to be brought out, you know, through that light, man. <clears throat> all right, this is Galatians two and nine because, like I was saying, man, all right, the elect are pretty much those pillars that the Lord is using, all right, to build up this house, man. So each and every one of you brothers, as the scripture said, as as a lively stone, all right, we we all are pillars to the household of faith, man. Okay. This is an example to show you that men are pillars, man. This is Galatians 2 and 9. It says, And when James, Cephas, and John, were, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the hands of fellow, like it, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen and they unto the circumcision. Okay? So the Lord, you know, set up men. All right, to go out into the world to bring back the elect, man. All right. So as we know, the, the heathen, all right, weren't promised salvation. So the heathen that is speaking about, all right, is, you know, the Israelite foreigners, all right, that didn't know that they were Israelites, man, as well as unto the circumcision, man, those that knew that they're Israelites, man. All right. But the main point being that, look, 
at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, man, you got to believe in your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Bear with me. So this is Psalms chapter 118 and verse 8. It reads, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes because at the end of the day, what we're telling our people is that the only way you're going to truly be able to make it in the times of destruction is by putting your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because anything else is a, is a faulty foundation and, and eventually the Lord will prove to you that that wasn't the correct one, to, the correct thing to lean on, and he's going to destroy those that haven't put their uh, their trust and faith in him. Okay, this is Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty four. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. All right, as we know, that rock being Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and. <clears throat> You know, the men that Yahweh Shah set up to be that pillar, it began with, you know, uh, the members of the elect, starting with King David, which we know through the spirit, you know, was Peter. So let me get that real quick. Because they're the household of faith, really. Is going back to the house of David. All right. So, you know, if you're able to receive that, all right, David and Peter are the same person. All right. This is Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, that thou art Peter, which when you, uh, when you read this in the NLT, it says, now I say to you that are Peter, which means rock. And upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. All right. And so Peter being that rock. All right. The Lord gave Peter the keys, you know, which, you know, the, the, the truth has been, you know, brought back through, you know, the house of David. All right. Which was set up now as we see, you know, the apostles and elders, how they were, you know, came up under King Mashal, who we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah to be King David in the reincarnation. But, you know, even for those that don't see that, at the end of the day, it still, you know, remains the same. That, look, the truth was founded upon, you know, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And so Yahweh Shai gave the keys to, to Peter, you know, and it's still a man that was set up to be a pillar as well as we see the pillars being set up today, which are the elders and apostles, the true teachers of Great Millstone, man. All right. For those that have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. All right. It says, so back in the King James, it reads again, Matthew 16, 18. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter and upon this rock will I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. All right. So at the end of the day, the elect is being built through, you know, the pillars that the Lord has set up on the earth, all right? And eventually the Lord will uh, will show, all right, the correct, you know, house that everybody was supposed to be, you know, running into, which you see, all right, who is teaching the correct doctrine in these times, man, all right? So when all hell breaks loose, you're going to see whose foundation was truly built upon that rock, man, the teachings of King David, okay? It says... And the rain, back in Matthew uh, 7 and 25, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded, it was founded upon a rock, which we know eventually, you know, going back to what I was saying about, you know, Yahweh Shai being that chief cornerstone. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. 
and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and the great saga, and great was the fall of it. All right. So, all you you know uh, that don't believe that you know the the proper doctrine is being taught by the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. All right. When all hell breaks loose, you're gonna find that your foundation, all right, was built upon a sand and. Hey, when the uh the destruction comes, which is that storm, all right, it's gonna wash away your foundation. You're gonna see that you you made a refuge of lies, man. All right, you didn't have a for sure foundation, man. All right, and the elect is gonna be revealed in that day, man. This is Revelation 3 and 12. It says, He that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power. It's once again showing you, you know, the those men are gonna be the pillars the Lord is gonna set up in his temple, man. Because that, that third temple is being built now, which is a spiritual temple which the Lord is using, all right, men to build through the Spirit. It's not a physical temple in this time, man, okay? It says, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, and I will write upon him my new name, all right? And... The new name is that word means refreshed. Okay, I believe it's uh, kinos. Let me make sure though, just to, you know, fact check. Yep, kinos, which means recently made, fresh, recent. Unused, unworn, which pretty much means to uh refresh, all right. To yeah, to be refreshed, man. So the Lord's gonna write His name in the foreheads of the of the men of the elect, man. All right. So when New Jerusalem comes down, like you read about in Revelation twenty one, all right, it says the names of the, of Yahweh Shemuel Shah gonna be written in their forehead, man. All right, and we're gonna go and establish the ways of Yahweh Shemuel Shah, Lord willing, with that number, unto all the world, to where all the world will worship. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So, hey, continue to fortify your foundation in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Keep your faith and your fear strong and continue to endure. So, until next time, I'm going to close it out by giving all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Akahakwadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect. Until next time, I say Shalom.